One of my favorite quotes from Tony Robbins is this, knowledge without execution is poverty. If you know, but you don't do, then you'll end up putting yourself in a cycle that will continuously forever go on where you never reach your goals and where you get the same results. The number one mistake that unsuccessful people make constantly, and I don't mean success in terms of money, because you can experience success in terms of anything, your relationship, your social life, your, your physical health, uh, whatever it is, the number one thing that a lot of unsuccessful people do in general is that they get knowledge, they get all the information, without taking action, without actually taking the first step. My friend, many people get excited by the journey of self-help. They get excited by the idea of being a better person, by the idea of growth, even by the idea of learning, yet they never get started. And that's one of the biggest things that equal the same results. Remember, if you keep on doing the same things, you'll keep on getting the same results. You will find yourself battling the battles of last year, this year. You'll find yourself getting the same results as last year, this year, with no action being taken. You will have a lot of knowledge, but never ever see rewards from the hard work you put in to get the knowledge. Life is hard for those who do not act. Life is hard for those who do not take the steps to execute their dreams. And for those who do take those steps, their future selves will thank them. My friend, if you take the steps to eating a healthier diet, to going to the gym, to being hard on yourself, studying longer, to put in more effort when it comes to advertising your, your products, whatever it is, if you take more time and you become more disciplined, you become hard on yourself and you say, hey, look, I'm not gonna do these things. I'm not gonna hang around these people. I'm not gonna do certain things that aren't gonna help me get to the position where I wanna be. Your future self, will thank you. Your future self will thank you for saying you're not gonna spend a lot of money this year. You're gonna save and invest half of the money you get. Your future self will thank you for taking the time to get a relationship with God. Your future self will thank you for taking the time out of your day to go to the gym each day. I want you to define the person you wanna become. I want you to look at that person and I want you to really visualize. I want that person that you wanna become to drive you, to motivate you, to keep going. The hardest part is taking the first step. If you cannot take the first step, my friend, it'll be very difficult to keep going. Your success is determined on how hard you can work and how consistent you can stay. And if you can take the first step, everything else becomes easier. That's the beautiful thing. If I can get to the point when I can take out everything out of my diet that isn't helpful, whether that's oils or fats or, or salts or whatever it is that's not helping me and choose to go through a proper diet, something that will actually build my body and my strength and my health up, then the longer I stick to this, the longer I stick to this good habit, the easier it becomes in the future. That's the principle of hard work. I remember in the start of quarantine, before the whole pandemic or in the first few months of the pandemic, uh, when lockdown was put in, my father chose to do one thing. He chose to have two segments every single day called Rise of the Prophetic Voice and Let's Pray. And so he told himself that every single day, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna do these two segments. And he did. Until now, every single day, two segments a day for almost two years now. And, and, and to the point where when it first started, my dad would get tired and my dad would, would feel like um, it's very difficult right? But my dad's a hard worker. And the more he stuck into it, I remember him telling me that now it feels weird if he doesn't do it. You know, it's become a part of his routine. So when you start a new project, when you start something new, some, something you want to reach, uh, your goals, whatever it is, you have to make sure that you take those first few steps. You put in the hard work, you put in the effort, you choose to not eat McDonald's, you choose to eat right, you choose not to watch Netflix, you choose to study, you choose to read more books, you choose to create an environment of growth, to let go of the people in your life or to hang out less and less around them when they are causing you to go down, to go backwards, to stagnate. And my friend, I promise you, when you make that choice, when you say, I'm gonna release 10 new articles on, on my website, I'm gonna meet 10 new people each day. After some time, once this has become a new habit you have built, you will see that it becomes automatic. In fact, you feel guilty about not doing it. I remember when I was making my videos, I would keep my camera equipment and my lighting equipment ready. My, my microphone, the one I'm, I'm not using right now, I'm using the lapel microphone, but 
the microphone that I would have ready. I would have everything, everything ready, my script out, everything I'm gonna speak about, everything would be ready, I just have to press record. And from that time, when I had everything around me ready, I decided that I'm gonna go hard and I'm gonna keep making videos. And the longer I left my camera out, the longer I built the habit of just pressing it on and starting to record the video, the better it was for me. The easier I found it to actually work. It became so easy to press record and write a video, then go to my laptop and write an article for the website, then create this and create that and have meetings here. And, and it became so much easier. I want you to write down five goals. I want you to write down five, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be your new year's resolutions, but it's just five goals that you want to complete midterm or short term goals. Next, I've done a video on this. I want you to make your goals smart. They should be specific, they should be measurable, they should be attainable, they should be relevant, and they should be time specific. If you haven't watched my smart goals video, how to structure your goals, it's one of the first videos I've ever released on, I think it's the first one, the first video I've ever released on my channel. I'll put a link in the description below so you can click on that and you can watch the smart video. Next, I want you to highlight for each and every goal, the baby steps that you can take each day in order to reach them. So if your goal is, for instance, I wanna read 12 books this year. So 12 books this year is one book a month. You take this book and you say, okay, this book is 300 uh, pages long. I will read 10 pages each day. I'll read five pages each day. I'll read 30 pages each day in order to reach a specific time measurable goal that I've set to finish this specific book. What I want you to focus on specifically when you're highlighting these baby steps is what choices you can make on a day-to-day -day basis. Remember, your habits are built from day-to-day -day decisions. If you choose to wake up and eat food that is unhealthy and not go and exercise and go on Netflix, all these things add up to creating a lazy person in the future, a habit of laziness, a habit of, uh, of, of gluttony and fatness, and it's not something that you should be having. When you take your goals and you break them down into baby steps, and you break those baby steps down into choices you can make each day, you're not only moving closer to your goals, but you're creating certain habits. You would not believe how important it is to understand that life is a culmination of little choices. Every habit you have, the person you wanna become is a culmination, is a sum of multiple little choices you've made each day. If in the future you become an unhealthy person, your health is, is compromised because of the, your diet, it goes back to the days where you chose to eat fatty foods and unhealthy and, and, and very, uh, bad for your heart foods like McDonald's or KFC, or whatever it is, compared to eating healthier, fresh foods. These are these little choices that all culminate to a bigger, to a bigger thing. Your daily choices culminate to your habits. Your habits culminate to who you wanna become. Your daily choices, once you add all of them up, create a habit. Your habits, when you add all of them up, they create you as a person who you become. So when I tell you to take the goals that you wanna reach and break them down into baby steps that are actionable, and then take those baby steps and break them down into choices that you can make each day, daily small choices that you can make, I'm taking you from having a, a, a goal, something that is external to you, to something that you become. So now you have complete control over taking the proper choices into culminating the good habits that you need into culminating into the person you wanna become. Remember, if you have to fail, it's okay, but do what I call failing safely. Take small, repetitive steps into reaching your goals. Each time, push yourself a little bit further. Take baby steps. If you're at the gym and you wanna work out harder, why don't you work out 10 minutes longer than you did before? Why don't you make your weights a little bit heavier than they were before? Why don't you meet one more new person than you did yesterday? Why not study an extra 15 minutes, then an extra 30 minutes, and before you go into that three hour studying session, just build it up. Make sure that it's repetitive and consistent. Make sure your goals, your choices are repetitive and consistent. And the last thing to remember is practice makes perfect. Each day when you're taking action, you won't be the best at it the first time. You might even get off your diet the first time. But the most important thing is that you get back on the horse, you get back to the action, you keep going, and the more you practice, the easier it becomes. Just as when you take that first step, the whole journey becomes a lot easier. The more you practice, the easier every skill you're doing is. Remember that meeting new people, becoming more social is a skill. Remember that going to the gym and exercising more is a skill. Remember that uh, making more money and creating uh, 
top selling products, whether it's advertisement or whether you're writing books or whether you're, you're, you're doing these things for your business, all of that is skills. All of these are skills you have to build up and for every skill you need to practice. So my friend, thank you for watching this video. If this video has impacted you in any way, click the link in the description below and you can speak directly to me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you've ever been curious as to what type of personality you have, I have a free personality quiz down in the link in the description below. Last thing, please make sure you click subscribe and like if you want my video to go up in front of more people to bring more people into this world of self-help and change lives out there. Thank you for watching this video.